What is up? People of Los Santos. We out here in the streets. But yeah, anyway, guys. Just gonna chat to you guys, you know. As I normally do. Um, welcome back. Oh my god. Oh. My car, what you doing? No, thank you. Exit to ground. My car's down there, I think. Is it? Yes, it is. But yeah, it's my ride. Badly parked. And yeah, thanks for tuning in yet again I'm gonna be cruising around this crazy city um, and I won't get killed because there's no one else in the lobby so that's good right and here we are rolling around in my low rider that can do this quite amazing and it should do yeah, the back end does it as well, which is quite sick. And yeah, here we are, running through the city. Looking good, if I might say. If I say so. What? If I say so? I I, I got mixed up. If I if I may be so bold, that's what. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Don't know what, what phrase I was meant to use, but epic fail. Uh, where's the valet? So yeah guys, I hope you're doing okay. I hope things aren't too annoying already this year. Like, nobody wants to jinx it. We're in this year. Can't say things have improved in my own life. Things, if anything, got more difficult. Probably mentioned it in the past. Enough hospital visits. But overall, I'm better now, so. In a sense, it's been, it's better than it has been so far. In some ways, other ways not so much. But I mean, I want to talk about the government then. That's a complete mess. That's not worth talking about. But yeah, just trying to live my life. I think people just struggle to do that now, just get on with it. Um, and that's not always an excuse, like, because shit happens. Life is not fair. Just got to react to it. It's how you deal with it, like, as bad as things can get. Some people just have a way. And they're more apt at dealing with stuff than others, like the people that don't care about everything so much. Don't overthink. Those people, you know. They could do things without feeling guilty, without feeling like they're a failure or they're not worth anything. People that can just not care about the little things. But other other people, well even me, I overthink about things that other people might not even think about. Or maybe there's a lot of you who are in the same boat, you overthink simple things that affect your daily life. Not saying it's that bad in my case. Could be worse. I've seen worse cases, but um, a lot of people seem to be struggling, just keeping the lid on things. Just, but I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's kind of normal. 
human existence, like, it's not a simple thing. Like, why are we here? What is your purpose? Some people never find their purpose. Um, I feel like before YouTube, that was kind of me. Before Twitch, before any sort of internet based thing I had going. Online persona, you know. Before all that, I was like, what am I really good for? What, what am I good at? And how can I convert that into a skill in life? And I realised, okay, I'm good at talking um, to people, socialising. I get get along with people. You know, can have a, a good bit of banter. I I get a kick out of talking to other people, making them laugh or teaching them something new in general I thought why not implement that into like a YouTube career into something that makes it more worthwhile so the feeling like or not knowing what my purpose like what knowing what my purpose was not knowing what my purpose was and some people never really find that, they might have a job a well paid job, a brilliant job but they're not happy in it or they don't feel fulfilled spiritually or like I don't know if you believe in that crap but like they might not feel like they're working towards something or going to leave anything behind to be remembered by obviously family, things like that that's a big achievement and people take it for granted. Like, a lot of people, they suffer in the job they have to keep their family supported and keep things going, keep things moving. People will drop out of school to help their family if they've got a parent that's ill or if they're, you know, in a household where there's only one parent, they might have to help out like financially help their parents you know people sacrifice a lot for their families and maybe a job they might enjoy they might sacrifice that just to be with their family or to keep their family in a position that's not going to make them struggle so when I'm here like wondering what the point of my existence really is there's people like that that haven't got time to do what they love or think about what makes them worth I don't know what makes their life worthwhile but like even I've said it before you make someone laugh or smile for me that's enough and I do that for YouTube if not when I meet people friends, family you know I'm that guy so I realised, okay, why can't I do that on YouTube? And yeah, the last year or two, been a bit more difficult. A lot more difficult. It's been like, what the hell? How do I make content? We can't leave the house. But here we are. I found a way. A lot of people worked from home. Some people loved it. Some people hated it. Did we have a choice? Not really. I mean, we'll see what what comes next. Another idiot politician. That's guaranteed. Uh, you know, another vaccine. Probably. The vaxxers versus the anti-vaxxers. And the people in the middle who really don't know what to believe. And the people like me who like, you know, have no choice really. I'm not saying I wouldn't have it, but I've had the vaccines, I've had the booster. Because I literally don't want to get ill. Because I'm more likely to. Though friends of mine in my position with the same condition have been okay. I've not been 
terribly ill from it or even asymptomatic so despite that doesn't matter I'm still getting the vaccines I feel the need to when they came out I was relieved I was happy I made a video to, to show that that journey you know felt like a step in the right direction a step away from Covid away from all the suffering from all the lockdowns we might, we're yet to be completely free but the rules are easing or have eased it's a good sign and the future is uh, well it's definitely bright it's been as bad as it's been you know we've been through a lot as a as a planet as a world as people as individuals and if you didn't get covid you certainly suffered mentally from all the lockdowns and all the all the restrictions restrictions on your life on your way of li living like a normal life it's difficult it's hard to remember what life was like in the past like before the pandemic and that's why a lot of people they end up with social anxiety and stuff like that because they're not used to normal life normal life has dispersed disappeared it will never be the same again we'll have to make the most of it but people getting a lot less colds a lot less viruses things like that so surely that's better well we're going to be less immune but like I hate restrictions on my life because the other day I was in the hospital staying overnight doing checkups couldn't leave the building could order food in but I couldn't leave like and it was like a prison I got my checks done I'm fine but still like let me out bloody hell I would have kicked up a fuss and broken out myself but I didn't have to stay too many nights just one night so I thought you know it's not worth it a younger me would have gone mad a younger me would have gone loopy but yeah so guys if you're watching this um, the reason why I'm talking to you from a different camera is because I forgot to unmute my microphone when doing that uh, podcast style GTA you know video whatever you call it um, so anyway this is me carrying on uh, picking up where I left off uh, bearing in mind I've forgotten what I said that day so I'm just gonna go off what I've said so far uh, in this video but yeah um, despite all the negativity all the difficult things I'm blessed guys I'm blessed because I got a, a family that actually cares um, people around me a team of people and you know and doctors who want to help I'm so appreciative because before that visit I was well but when I was talking earlier in this video um, it was before the visit to the hospital for my checkup um, and now it's um, a week later um, I've done that checkup and I feel so much better like I was so worried about the visit and nervous I don't know why um, but yeah it was just like relief just all I can say is I hated hospital food that was horrible I had to order in food like I said but no I am blessed and recently I've been watching the um there's like a Neymar documentary on Netflix all about his career and like it got me thinking like you know there's what people think of him on the outside and there's the real him we all have that like there's two sides what people think you are and what you actually are um, 
with the people like around you you know because what you perceive on the internet is different or your brand or whatever um but it, i saw how humble he actually is when he's flamboyant and cocky on one side but for him it's just he loves football obviously the, the attention's good too he said all oh, that's good but there's downfalls to you know people today want to be famous they don't want to have worked for something like back in the day it's like okay uh, I don't know uh, this football like there's a football everyone like had a footballer they liked like as a kid they'd be like oh Beckham yeah we want to be like Beckham one day we want to be really good at crossing the ball really you know or we want to be like Messi we want to be really good at football like the best we want to be known for that and famous for that now people want to be famous for any old reason they'll go, go on like Love Island and it's not because they've worked hard to get there it's just because they want to be famous like you'd be like oh I want to be like that talented singer I want to sing like, I want to be the best singer you know there's a reason to be famous like if you know what I mean like you've earned your right now it's just any any old way like just to get attention but anyway back to me like um, and the Neymar thing like he's best because he's got a family who they're devoted to him and like it's a whole business around his marketing like his image and I'm not saying I need that but I've got a team of people around me technically uh, devoted to me in some ways doesn't always feel that way because I'm demanding and I come off annoying well, don't come off annoying but I am annoying there's a difference um, yeah I'm nice on here I have to be otherwise you guys be like nah, we're not watching that dickhead but yeah I'm just realizing that it's gotta be authentic like and outside oh, people protection. have either those opinions of Mar of Neymar I don't know. Neymar being like, you know, this kid that rolls around the pitch, screaming and crying, throwing his toys out of the pram. But you realise, like, half the time he's getting kicked. I mean, I've played Padre for long enough, and you, the best player on the pitch, you've got to make them know you're there. They get the worst fouls. The best players I know get the worst, worst tackles. If you're not any good, it means you'll never get a tackle. Like, no one will ever foul you. I've realised that about football. And yeah, uh, it's not for everyone. Anything I mean, Just ask. there's a bit of jealousy when it comes to a Neymar, isn't it? Other players like, oh, we wish we were that quick or we wish our hair was that good. Um, Feel free to flag me a lot of things like that. Something. But you've got to have confidence. You've got to have belief in your, your ability. Otherwise, what's the point? Like, uh, People are just miserable nowadays. No, no offence if you've actually got a reason to be in a, in a problem. Uh, you know, nowadays everyone's got a problem. Not a bad thing, just part of life. But I've learned that, you know, perfection is authenticity. Is being yourself. Being comfortable with that. Accepting who you are. Like the good and the bad. Like, just don't live in denial. Like. When I go to these hospital visits, Your wish is I'm very much command. reminded of all the problems I do have, but I'm dealing with them. And living in denial from those problems would never help. And in the past, I've fought against some of the things doctors have said, been a bit rebellious. And then when I was there, like the main doctor or consultant, wherever they are, they're like, why the sudden change of heart? Why suddenly do you listen to everything we say and agree and not fight against us. I was like, well, maybe I've matured. That was my answer, you know, maybe I've grown up and I have. Um, not so rebellious. Doesn't mean I'm not. But like yeah, I've grown up and I guess there's a deadly virus going around that like That's really nice. maybe kicked me into gear. Made me realise okay, I better look after myself. Because that is one thing we've all learned. You've got to look after yourself in this current situation more than ever your mental side too and you know during the pandemic i took up meditation at times just tried to find a way just to just to be chill 
be calm and just let the stuff outside happen. Because you can't control everything. You can't stop everything. Think about all these little things. Then you just freak out. You just gotta not be selfish, but focus on your own well-being. Then you can help Everything's others. Everything's on sale. You know, if you really respect who you are, you can respect and help and love others. Um. Yeah. But anyway, we're driving around on GTA. This is fun. It's different. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah changing the guy's outfit three quarter limbs and a shirt and sliders oh my god Thanks. look at this ridiculousness I might just play this game and just mess around all day it's fun and just upload it like we'll just upload to YouTube again but anyway yeah I love this car it's just so low and actually I had the same car on previous GTAs. Not in this colour or this style, but I did have this car. Spin it around. No, no, driving around on this game just helps me think about things. Think about what's going on in the world. And I also recently watched a podcast with Russell Brand. He was on the True Geordie podcast. And make what you will of him, but like... The whole stuff I was mentioning about being authentic, like, he was talking a lot about that and how he's gone down that path these days. And if you see the videos he uplo uploads on YouTube, like, yeah, he's, a bit, he's still political, but, like, not so aggressive about it. And, yeah, and he mentions a lot of uh, things on meditation, like, how it really helps. And like I said, I, I did do that a bit during, during the pandemic the early days of it and it helped but at the beginning you're like what is this I'm just sitting here dwelling on my thoughts but it's about accepting whatever happens and dealing with it like thoughts that is they come in and out of your head all day I'm, a, I'm an overthinker so they do I mean I don't always think things through anyway despite being an overthinker it doesn't mean you, your, your brain is always working correctly but like, I mess shit up all the time and I'll be honest, I felt that at football, Pouchier football recently, like, I've been ill, so I haven't been in much training. No excuse to play badly, I mean, as a team, I'll be honest, the other day, collectively, we agreed we all played terribly. Um, and we lost, and we drew one game, we lost one, and we won the last game just about. But without the team talks our coaches gave us, really kicking us into gear we would not have won the last game because it was just back to basics like think about this sport like us more experienced players in the team we know how to play we know what we're capable of doing we just weren't doing it no one looked like they really wanted to be there very strange and i've not felt myself on the pitch since early days of the se this season had some great moments, but it's felt lacklustre, I don't know. Maybe I haven't been training enough, and I've realised, obviously, you go training, you play better. I know this. I've known this for so many years, and this ties in with the whole, like, Neymar thing. Like, he appears cocky and lazy. Um, maybe I do, too, to certain people. Um, you know, and uh, people respect you regardless of how you play good or bad. Maybe they're a bit envious if you play well. If you play bad, well, they're gonna like you more because you haven't upset them. It's in the opposition. But, um, no. That's a joke. Oh, I've got a Fiat 500 to customize. That is so cute. Stay on topic. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Can't stay on topic. But yeah, I mean, you just gotta roll with the punches. I've just got to be more down to earth with my football. I've been through a lot o over the years and one thing I don't want to see be seen as is lazy. I mean they, they call Neymar lazy. Um, I mean 
he's not. I've seen uh, what he does and how much he loves football. Someone like that can't be lazy. It just with Brazilians, they're so joyful on the pitch. They love what they're doing, and I've got to get back to loving Pacho football because at the moment we've been struggling. Or well, this weekend, anyway, we did, and it didn't feel good. We're out there to enjoy ourselves. Not that it's just a bit of fun; it's serious. But we're out there to to forget about all the everyday rubbish we deal with. The you know the stuff you can't escape, apart from when you play football, or some people go gym or do something or go for a walk or play vi- video games. Yeah, they don't help stress at all. Like, so it's between meditating and playing video games in for, in uh, in uh, lockdown. Fortnite being the main one with friends is always stressful, fun, and therapeutic in a different way. But yeah, meditating, just being at peace, just like not looking at your phone every two minutes, or not being on it so much. Like my phone's right here, but like the impulse is always there to use it. Who's texting me? Anyone? No one is. It hasn't gone off, but it's not ringing. But you know, it's there, and you look at it, and your mind goes, "Oh, who's on Instagram? Who's on TikTok? What depressing videos on TikTok now? You know, all these things that go through your mind, and like constantly, I'm thinking about things in the past. Should I have done that? Should I have acted that way or this way? But when you meditate, it takes that away. It makes you think about it but in a calm way a more calm and strate- strategic way no not really oh I'm getting changed again okay um going for the trying to go for the beach look don't know if it's gonna work but yeah these are the other outfits my guy's got they're currently in my auto shop another premises that I own I got I'm making big money moves on GTA guys that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Big money moves on GTA. I mean, this game is addictive, and I've seen people who stream it for hour, like eight hours and, and twelve hours, like ridiculous. There's one guy I watch all the time, um, Josh from the Sidemen, or AKA Zerka, or Tommy T, as he's called on GTA. Anyway, he plays this game like I do, but for like a lot longer and he plays the uh, like, it's like a cracked version on PC, which is a lot more detailed than this version. And he's got his own crew and they go around fighting other crews and stuff. Oh, okay, I didn't really change the outfit. But yeah, they go around fighting other crews and stuff, doing like robbing banks and stuff and like living life on GTA. like. They're living in a video game. Like I, I'm not on that level. I'm not that obsessed. I do what I do on GTA. You know, missions here and there. A fair few, but like, no, it's escapism, isn't it? That's what a video game is. This is basically a Fiat 500. All right, don't crash. Because if you crash, you don't get your full. Um, payment for delivery and basically if you're wondering what, you, what I'm doing here uh, you get cars in to customise customise them give them back to their owner and get paid a fair fair few bob but traffic drives mad on this game the locals are just nuts trying to crash into you on purpose because they know you're delivering a precious vehicle I love that green though Oh, oh, he's swearing at me. Oh my god. People get aggressive. Get angry. And speaking of anger, I mean, that's the thing you learn to deal with rage. I mean, if you're, they say if you're irritating, the best thing to do is not react. Well, I would say leave the room, but like, there's, there's, there's times when you're irritated by other people that you can't really do anything about it. Like, you can't change the way they're being. Some people just are out to get you without even knowing they are. They're there to test you. They're sent to test you if you believe in God. Like, (laughs) 
the devil wears a disguise, you know what I mean? The devil ain't always what people imagine it to be. The devil could be a beautiful woman, could be a fast car, could be, uh, I don't know, an addiction to gambling, but it's sent to test you. So you react to it. And, uh, always 420 somewhere in the world. yeah, it's how you react to the current situation right now that we're all dealing with. Like, I got a bounce back, I, I'm bouncing back. But like the confidence, the belief, like I know, wow. yeah, you th maybe you think Neymar is a cocky Brazilian player who's got loads of money and no need to be upset, but like, you've got to have that belief, no, that. belief that you will make it, like, yeah, he's not Messi or Ronaldo, but you've got to have belief in yourself and like, don't think about those little things like, oh, they're better than me or this and that. Don't compare, because that's what people do, like, Especially in the, when you're in your 20s. I've been through it where you're comparing yourself to other people on Instagram to their fake lives. Like, don't compare, just do you. Just don't worry about others in that sense. Don't think, oh, they're doing this and I'm not, you know? Like, just focus on your own. Like, you know how pissy I get if I see a happy couple in public? Like, oh, I'll get a room or this. Like, it's only based on my own single situation that like it's not that bad but like if I'm comparing to others it, it will drive me crazy so I don't I just get on with my shit and it, if it happens meet the right person it happens it's like if you look for your car keys when you lose them you'll never find them and you'll, you'll find them when you're not looking for them that kind of thing and the, you know or it'll be right in front of you and you won't notice um, but yeah, I haven't got a relationship advice. All I say is just tell the truth, be yourself. Don't be something you're not because you never know, they might like the real you. But then if they hate the real you, um, you're destined to die alone. Um, but no, don't be scared of being yourself. Like I said, authenticity is perfection, being yourself honesty in that way um, it's the only way and being comfortable with who you are like the older you get the more you'll realize it um, and things like vanity change like I was a lot more vain five years ago you don't always worry about those things so much as you get a bit older I'm not gonna say that I'll start dressing like a tramp tomorrow and I still care about how I look, how I dress, to some extent. You've got to be presentable, innit? it? Because if you do bump into the girl of your jeans, dreams, you've got to look good, you know, you can't just be looking like a homeless person in pyjamas. I mean, that is style nowadays. On the motorway here. Oh, I'm going to murder this guy, though. I, I don't know why I did that. I do not know why I did that. Again, I'm not alive in the moment. I'm just watching back the video. See what I did do. But yeah. Don't know what got over me there. Just wanted to kill the guy with scooter. It was that or knock him off. But yeah. This is probably confusing for some of you. One minute I'm talking about something deep. Next minute I'm shooting the guy on the scooter. And doing donuts on the motorway. Driving backwards down the motorway. Why? Oh, people swearing again. People swearing again. Nice little spin. I do love the sound of this car. Brilliant. Or when you get a bit of turbo lag on it. On a car with turbo. But yeah, I've always loved cars. Uh, I've always been a Top Gear fan, but that's why this game appeals to me. Not the violence, the driving cars. Like, it's the most basic thing. I mean, I do crash into a lot of stuff. I'm driving pretty good here, I would say. But no, it is a therapeutic thing. 
um, you know, and today's world is like always on the go, like never a second to breathe. And that's what the lockdown gave some people, you know, in the beginning. So, oh yeah, quarantine is just uh, two weeks by yourself in your house. Nothing wrong with that. Just like a holiday. And then you do quarantine for two weeks. It's like, ah, oh, or lockdown or whatever. Whatever it is. Look at my little skeleton chilling on the dashboard with my purple interior. It's a bit noncy, that interior. And the flame dials on the dials. It's so difficult in this game to drive in this uh, view, first person. You don't, I don't know. It feels real, but then all the details are rubbish. Unless you play, play the, uh, the PC version, the hacked version, or whatever it is. Um, but anyway, yeah, I could never play this game for that long. I'd get fed up. And my attention span like, of one game, that like, is not that long. Play a game for an hour or two and just get bored after that. You know, go have something to do. But yeah, I mean, I've lost count of how many actual, you know, podcasts I've done. Yeah, I've started counting from zero again, so I'm on 12. Not to say I've only made 12, but speaking of podcasts, Joe Rogan got in a bit of trouble. Um, and I saw the video where he explains himself of what, you know, or says sorry. Uh, because all he did was have some experts, expert doctors on giving their different opinions on like vaccine related stuff, which is opinion, it's not fact. Different doctors, experts that Joe Rogan had on this podcast, talking about like different methods of dealing with it. With I don't know, I haven't seen the actual clip that they were talking about, but as a result, a few artists have uh, left Spotify. Neil Young included, who Joe Rogan is a fan of, ironically, and uh, Joni Mitchell. Shame to lose them on Spotify because I, I, I do love Neil Young music as well. I'm a big fan of that kind of music. And I, I listen to him a lot during Covid as well, during the pandemic. I still do. But not on Spotify anymore. And will Joe Rogan quit Spotify? No. So much money in it. I mean, you would be doing them dirty if he did. But I, I got a feeling that he might try and resolve it, I don't know. Can you resolve it? It's done. But one thing that was interesting is that at the end of his little video apologising and talking about it, he said thank you to the haters, like, because it's true, haters do, you do need them because they put things in perspective, make you realise that you're not perfect, which is good, always being grounded is, is good, I mean, don't get me wrong, my brother and that puts me on a place. Brothers are good for that, or sisters, or siblings, or family. They, as much as they love you, they'll put you in your place. They'll make you know that you're not the best in any way. Which is good, they'll keep you grounded. You know? You've got someone to challenge you. That's why sometimes, if you're an only child, like... Yeah, you've probably got good friends, but like... Siblings beat you up, man. I've got a younger brother, but he beats me up still. It's not, uh, it's not child abuse, it's not. But it's some sort of abuse, but... Uh, it's legal, so it's fine. But, you know, like... Verbal abuse as well, like... It sets you up for life. The more siblings you have, I'm telling you, the tougher you'll be. I've only got one, so I'm not that tough, but... God. <laughs> I wouldn't be as tough if I didn't have a brother. So family, like I said at the beginning, having a family around, I'm not going to buy this house, am I? What? That's ridiculous. For that piece of junk. It's the apartment, it's not a house. My car is battered. 
love to have a house by the beach. It'd be a bit windy in the winter, but house by the sea. Just don't get me thinking about Italy. I miss Italy too much. My tan is gone, faded. Uh, there's a lot I miss about Italy. The scenery and not just the the beach or the countryside, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I mean, when you when you you got a British accent and you go to Italy, I mean, you're the talk of the town. All the ladies will be at your feet. I'm telling you guys, if you've got a British accent, just go to Italy and like, you just melt everyone with like butter, literally. I haven't tried that in America yet, but that'll probably work too. Good old British accent. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm not posh by any means. London, well North London, we're not that crazy, but bit of an accent, yeah. But yeah, my guy's just drowning his sorrows with whiskey in this terrible green kitchen. Ugh. And the beer as well. You alky. But yeah, speaking of alcohol, I can't drink like I used to, I don't know. Well, maybe I'll get in a good sesh and then I'll see. I'll get back to you on that, but like, don't have the same urgency to get drunk all the time like I used to. Just more about banter these days. It's always about banter, but like, that I used to be in the pub twice a week. Went for a fake like 2016, 2017, one of those years. Where, you know, between me and my brother, we were going pub twice a week, that kind of thing, with friends. Red Hole crew. Um, and it was crazy. But now it's like COVID put a knife in everything. In some ways, but, you know, freedom's not completely gone. It's changed. But I, I'm adamant we'll get back somewhere, not as it was before, but somewhere near. It's possible. You just gotta believe. You gotta have that belief that it will be. Okay, oh, I've jumped forward a bit because I was just messing around. Um, and now I'm calling in this car, this Ferrari looking thing. Beautiful. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end soon. And I just want to say, like, all of this has made me realise, like, I've said it time and time again, make the most of the little things. You know, the little things that you might not have thought of as important, but see the, try and see the fun in stuff, like, like, I, I do a lot of the time, like, I don't know, like, the way kids see the world, you can never be like that again, but like, appreciate the little things, like, see the good in stuff, and I'm telling you, like, I'm not going to get all, like, talking about religion and stuff, but like, I don't, whatever you believe in, but like, that is good in the world, I'm telling you. Somewhere. What, like, the. I, I don't, I don't want to say there is a God or not, but like, there's something that will tell normal people to do good, to say thank you. Someone gives up their seat on the bus, you know, to not harm others, to just be nice and just. Certain values that people hold, regardless of religion, people have them. So there's definitely good in the world, I'm saying. I'm saying, like, it's not all good, but appreciate that there is. Otherwise, we just get lost. Get lost in the chaos. And it is chaos. Um, at the same time, when you're focused on what you're doing, you've got to be a monster, you've got to be focused, you've got to be a killer. You've got to have that instinct in terms of when you want to achieve something. And yeah, it'd be nice to be all that, but like, you know, you've got to appreciate both sides. I mean, look at this view right now, like, speaking of things that you got to appreciate, little things that, I know it's just a game, but like, like just sitting here looking out, the reflection of the moon over the sea. That is such a basic thing. But like I'm saying, 
you've got to be aggressive in your right moments take what you want in some ways if you want something no one's going to give it to you so yeah be nice and, and there's good people in the world but like you've got to be an animal when the time comes like regardless you know and then you've got to learn how to balance that and control that with you know being a sane human being that I don't think anyone could say they are I don't think I could say that couldn't have said that before but yeah, this car is beautiful. And I'm gonna love you and leave you guys. Because it, it's time to end, basically. And I've come to the end of this uh, little rant or discussion or whatever you want to call it. I thank you all for watching. Take it easy, guys, you know. Stay up, stay humble be nice, keep working hard, do what you're doing and just believe and just give yourself a pat on the back literally, give yourself a round of applause because you deserve it, take it easy guys, peace, oh my god, oh. my car what are you doing? <laughs>